Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Jain. I welcome you all to my channel, Egg Journey with Ankit. Today's video is another scenario on the Apex trigger, which has been asked in one of the interview question of the Wipro. This question has been asked to the four plus years professional where he have been asked to write down the trigger based on the uh, given problem statement. So let's go over the problem statement and also try to understand how we can implement that trigger. In case you folks like to have one to one connect with me, you guys can scan this QR code or click on the link in the video description so that you can connect with me where you can have one to one discussion with me either on the Salesforce queries or on the mock interview or any other topic that you folks like to discuss. Moreover, from the top mate, you can also download the interview prep guide as well as the LWC notes too. Once you scan this QR code, you will get a better idea what all different options are available on the top mat. Not only that, in case you folks like to join a wider community uh, where the like-minded people do discuss the Salesforce queries, please scan the QR code of the Telegram channel as well. Now, the scenario for today is this. Again, the first question that has been asked, what is the relationship between the account and the case? Is it a master detail or the lookup relationship? I want you guys to go and try to attempt this answer and put your solution in the comment section. What is the relationship between the account object and the case object, right? Whether it's a master detail relationship or a lookup relationship. And the follow-up question based on that was this. The ask here is to write down a trigger. And the ask here is if the account that the user is trying to delete it has the parent account, then what we have to do, we have to reparent all of the cases to the parent account. So let me try to explain this scenario with one example. Okay, so for example, if I take you to the accounts, right? And let's say uh, this is my, uh, okay, let's say this is my account. Okay, and this account have one parent account pending. So let's say here I am maintaining the parent account. Let's say my parent account is this. Okay, and clicked on save. Now, what is happening here is if I go and try to delete this account from here, right? What the system should do, what are the cases which are available? Like in this scenario, there is one case which is available. What the system should do, system should go and reparent all the cases to this parent account. But in case there is no parent account, there's another follow-up statement. In case there is no parent account, then system should first delete all its cases and then delete the account as well. So this is the trigger that you're supposed to write here. Again, problem statement is very straightforward. Implementation is also very straightforward unless you have the knowledge of the collections, right? So let's go and try to implement this scenario uh, with the help of VS Code now. So navigating here, creating a new trigger. And I'm naming this trigger here as the account deletion trigger. Okay, you can give any name, that's completely fine, right? And here this trigger it is based on the account object. As I said, this trigger should be running based on the delete operation. So here I'll be setting the event as the before delete. Again, I want you guys to tell me what all context variables will be available in the case of delete, whether you will be using here the trigger dot new or the trigger dot old. Please let me know in the comment section. Again, in case you folks have already answered, right? The correct answer to this is you can use only the trigger dot old. Trigger dot new is not available whenever you are performing the delete operation. Right, so let's go and write down our logic. So like we always do, we don't write down the logic in the trigger, we create the handler class. Here again, I am creating the Apex class, which is more like a handler class, right? And in that handler class, I am creating one method with the name of before delete public uh, static void before delete where I do have the old account list. Let me go and close this. Let me go and remove this. Uh, right now, the same method I will be invoking it from my trigger. So here I will be calling the method account deletion trigger handler. 
dot before delete and passing the old set of record. As I said, only the old set of records are available in the case of deletion. So here I will be passing the old set of records. Now moving to the next topic, where what I need to do now, my business ask is if parent account is available, then reparent the cases, else delete the cases. Right, that is the ask here. So what I will be doing here is I will be iterating over all the accounts that I do have to check whether they do have the parent or not. In case the parent is available, what I will be doing, I will be adding those parent details on my account. So here I go and do this for account for account ACC of old account list. Right here I am checking if acc dot uh, parent id it's better to check using the string dot is blank that is the acc dot parent id if that is present then what i will do into the map or let's not have this check here we will check it later what we will do at this moment we will go and simply create one map in which I will be storing the ID as well as the parent account details. So ID ID, that's what I'll be putting up here and giving the name of the map as account to parent is equal to new map of ID comma ID. Right, we will have that check later whether the parent is available or not. At this moment, I am storing all the accounts with the parent detail. Okay, so here to add the entries inside the map, we use the put method. So here I will be using the put method and adding the account ID along with the parent ID. Now I do have all the accounts that I need to process, right? What I will do now, I will go and get the related cases for all those accounts as a part of next step. That is get cases for all the accounts. So how I can do that? It's very simple. Right, I write. I'll write down my query on the case object where the account ID is present in, and the accounts that I am interested here is which is available in this map collection. So here I will be putting the key set like this. Now I got all the list of cases which are available in my collection. Now what is the next step that we have to do? Then we will be iterating over the cases because in case the account parent is available we have to go and reparent that cases as well so for that i will be iterating over these cases so here i go and put for case case rec of case list now here i will be checking for each case whether it is available on the uh, our map or not so here i will go and check let me go and use the method here uh, what is that yeah, from the account dot parent, let me put up here ID. Parent ID is equal to right account dot parent dot get. And here I will be getting the account ID. Right. For each account, we have already stored the parent. So whoever is the parent is available, it will be available in this uh in this particular variable and now here i put that check and then i go and put the check there because if i have put the check here i need to maintain the two different collection one is to store all the accounts and another one is to store the map and that's why i am putting that check here that is if string is uh uh is blank right and here i am checking the parent id then what i will be doing here is if that is the case, that means, what does it mean? That is, no parent is available uh, for the account, right? Else, what we can say that parent is available for the account. There can be two scenarios, either the parent is available or the parent is not available. In case the parent is not available, sorry, let's go and Try to handle this scenario first. In case the parent is available, then what we have to do? We have to go and reparent the uh, reparent the cases. So how to reparent the cases? So what I am saying here is here in that scenario, the case rec dot account ID. 
right? It should be the parent i. It should be the parent i. So basically, what we are doing, we are reassigning the places. And after that, because we have to perform the operations in bulk, right? So what I will do, I will go and create one list of cases. That is the uh, cases to update. We have to go and update those case records with the new value. So here I will go and define those collection. And after that, once we go and reparent the account, then I will be adding that case record into this collection. Right. But in case that is not the case, right? In case there is no parent is available, right? Then what we have to do? We have to go and delete the cases. Again, to delete the case, we don't perform the operation inside the loop. So here I will be putting the list of case cases to delete is equal to new list of case. And here I go and put cases to delete and dot add in the form of case record. Now I do have the two collections with me to perform the operation. Very simple now. So here I go and check if this is not empty, then what we will do? We will go and uh, we will go and perform the delete operation. So here I go and give the try catch block and perform the uh, delete operation of cases to delete. In the case of exception, here I go and log the exception for the moment. System not one. System dot debug. Ex dot add message. Right. Similarly, here I'll be putting the next thing that is if the case is to update, right, is not empty, right, then what I will be doing again in the try catch block, I'll be performing the update operation. Right, very simple thing. Again, let me reiterate what I have done. Very first thing, I have iterated here the all the old accounts that I do have, where I will be creating, uh, where I have created the map in the map and storing the account ID along with the parent details. After that, I am getting all the cases because irrespective whether the parent is available or not, I have to perform the operations on the cases. That's why I am getting here all the cases. Now, while iterating over the case, what I have done here is for each case account, I am checking whether the parent is available or not. In case the parent is available, I'll be reparenting it. Right here, this is the logic that I have written for the reparenting. But in case it is empty, what I need to do, I have to go and delete the cases as well. So let's go and try to deploy this and check whether it is coming up as expected or not. Uh, line number 22. Okay, I missed the semicolon here. What else? Method does not exist or incorrect signature. Line number 14. Why this is not available? Account to parent dot get. And here I will be using the case dot account ID. I am passing the account ID only. Let's go and try to deploy this one more time and see if we are getting the error one more time. Then we will see what to do here. Uh, method does not exist or incorrect signature. Account of parent. This is ID ID. That's correct. Dot get. Here I am passing the case of account ID. Let me go and do the type casting here if that works. Okay. It says the type is different. Let's see. Right. And here I go and uh, try to deploy this after doing the type casting. Okay. That is also not coming. So what we will do here is um, let me go and put here ID. Uh, Case ID is equal to case rate dot account ID. If that works, 
and here I will be passing the case ID. Sorry, case account ID will be more logical name, and here I will be passing the case account ID. And now try to deploy this. Yeah, now this works because of the typecasting only it was failing. That's why I have first stored this into the ID variable and then using that ID variable here. Okay, now let me go and try to deploy this trigger as well. And we will also do the testing. Okay, so I'll be setting up the accounts meanwhile it is deploying. So let's navigate here. Let me go and create the few accounts along with the cases. So let's go and quickly set up the data, right? So here, my first account here is account with parent. And here I am selecting one of the parent. And rest of the things, I'm not doing anything, clicking on save. For this account, I will be quickly creating the case as well. Right, uh, and here I go and put the uh, new case with the subject okay it also maintain the origin what else type reason rest of the things are good right and putting the uh case the parent one okay clicking on save Sorry. i'll be adding one more case so that we can also check for the bulkification whether it is working as expected or not so again phone case the parent two and here i go and clicked on okay. so there are two cases along with the account which is having the parent now the expectation here is if i go and delete this account all the cases should come up under the parent account let's go and see whether this is happening or not so try to go and delete this account clicking on delete so account got deleted if i navigate to the tjwa training Okay, I can see the cases does not came up here. If I navigate to the cases. Cases are here, but. Okay, cases shows it is under the TJWA training might be we have to go and refresh it, right? So let me navigate here one more time. Yeah, the cases do came up here, right? It was because of the cache, it was not coming up previously, but you guys can see the cases has been reparented to the parent account. Now let's go and try to see the another scenario now where we will not be maintaining any parent. So here I'll go and put account without parent. And here also I am adding, creating the two cases. So click on new and thing up the origin so let me go and put up here delete is one and creating one more uh, that is the phone and naming this as well the delete case to and clicking on save so now i have created the two cases here this time, if I go and try to delete the account, the cases should also be deleted. Now let's go and check under the cases whether it has been deleted or not. If I navigate to the cases, you can see there is there are no cases with the subject line delete cases, right? That means our trigger is working as expected. I hope you folks got the understanding how you can do the reparenting uh, in case you want to keep the records in your auth. Again, it's kind of a more real-time scenario uh, that we all most of the times we also used in the projects as well, where we don't want to uh, lose the records. We want to tag the records to some other object or to some other record. I hope you folks have found this helpful. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. Thank you. Have a good time.